evening. Welcome. Now, how's everybody doing tonight? Good? You ready for some live comedy? Yeah. yeah. Good. Thank you so much for joining us on your uh, Sunday night. Uh, I'm Max. I'll be your MC. Uh, here we are at the prestigious Crowded in the Vaults. Uh, we're very lucky to be here tonight, uh, especially after the plumbing incident earlier today. Uh, they fixed it just in time. Don't worry. Everything's fine. There's just a little bit of wee on the walls. <laughs> wee there. We there. Uh, this tape is uh, just clogging up the wee, basically. Uh, don't worry, it's, it's water time, I think. Um, before we get started, I just want to acknowledge that uh, we are performing tonight on the traditional lands of the Wurundjeri and Boonwurrung people of the Kulin Nation. Pay my respects to elders past, present, and emerging. Uh, note that sovereignty over this land was never ceded, so it always was, and always will be, Aboriginal land. And hey, fair transparency, you might hear some jokes tonight about what it's like to be a millennial and priced out of the housing market. But what really is property ownership when it's all stolen land anyway? That joke was a test. <laughs> you all failed. <laughs> uh, now, there will be some other pop quizzes throughout the night. Uh, you can't study for them, but there is one way to succeed, and that is to laugh, and laugh heartily. So if you keep doing that, we will all have an excellent time. A uh, bit, bit, bit of background about the show. People have been asking us uh, about the title, An Inconvenient Comedy Show. We decided to call it this, of course, in reference to a particular film, that, a well-known film that uh, inspired a lot of people to take action on climate change. The film I'm referring to, of course, is Ice Age 2. <laughs> the Meltdown. Ice Age 2, The Meltdown. Very powerful film. Highly recommend it. Uh, a little bit about me. Uh, right now, I can see on your faces a few of you are wondering, who is this leprechaun and why is he lecturing us? Uh, my name is Max. I'm a, I'm a comedian, obviously. I'm a community organizer and a climate activist. Uh, you can tell that I care about climate change by looking at my hair and complexion. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, rangas everywhere are going extinct. I could be next, you know? Like, if I go outside on a hot, sunny day, I don't so much get sunburn as I do just burst into flames. Uh, at least I'm easy to spot in a crowd. Just look for the smoke signal. <laughs> it spells rangas for climate action. Um, I'm a vegan. Are there any vegans in the house tonight? Yeah. Oh, shit. Cool, one person. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, shit is the wrong response. No, no, no. Uh, I'm not a prophetizing vegan or anything like that, uh, so for the rest of you, don't worry. These jokes are for everyone. <laughs> you can laugh. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of vegans in the world at, uh, these days, and you can tell because fake meat is a thing now. Uh, this might sound a little bit weird. But if I was a cow, I would find it, quite frankly, disturbing that my closest human allies make food designed to replicate the taste of my own flesh. <laughs> it's like, hey little cow, don't worry, I'm not gonna eat you. I'm just gonna snack on this chewy, fleshy replica of your body. <laughs> Relax, it's all love. <laughs> And the cow's just like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> we are not friends. Uh, I like to imagine it the other way around, though. Like, uh, picture this. If shark restaurants in the deep sea started serving fake surfer burgers that were designed to replicate the taste of my own flesh, I wouldn't mind that one bit. <laughs> Sharks would just be like, oh, mate. This fake surfer burger tastes just like real surfer. <laughs> we could finally tell the Australian governments to stop baiting and murdering us. <laughs> How good is fake meat? <laughs> that uh, deserved a whole lot more. <laughs> Spot of applause wouldn't have gone on this. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It is too late. It's too late. No, nah, just, but, you know, next time. Um, you know what's not good? Wage theft. It's not good. Uh, right now, there are a bunch of owners of vegan restaurants being like, I am so glad that we started this restaurant so we can educate people about the evils of factory farming. And their employees are like, yeah, me too. Um, I've been on shift for 12 hours now. 
can I take a break, please? <laughs> Derek, we've been through this. If you take a break, the factory farming industry wins. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to compete with the George Columbaruses of the world? <laughs> If I have to let you take a legally mandated break. <laughs> also, your contract says I can pay you in turmeric lattes. <laughs> I hope you're thirsty. <laughs> Sorry, that was a weird at the end. <laughs> the, uh, the students are striking until we act on climate change, good. which I think is pretty good. Uh, they have this saying, we don't inherit the earth, we borrow it from our children. There's a lot of wisdom in that saying. I think we should heed it. Because have you ever seen a kid share anything? <laughs> My niece won't even share watching Peppa Pig. <laughs> She's got an iPad and a death grip. <laughs> Imagine that with the whole earth. Hey, sweetie, uh, mind if I borrow the planet for a little while? No, it's mine! Get your own earth! But honey, there is no planet B. Can't I borrow yours for a little bit? No, go away, you'll ruin it! <laughs> Fair point. Uh, <laughs> I, I probably will ruin it, yeah. Uh, never mind, you, you keep it, your anxiety is well-founded. Uh, I'll just go fuck up, thank you. <laughs> you just timed it a little bit bad. <laughs> Right at the line, which is not going to work. Uh, I'll just go fuck up the moon instead. There you go. Uh, uh, bad news, everybody. Um, somebody recently told me that my dad looks a lot like Scott Morrison. <laughs> that sound of silence right there is my brother in the audience going, oh shit, our dad looks like Scott Morrison. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, thank you for your sympathy, though. It has been a it's been a very difficult time. Um, uh, but it's given me this idea, and uh, I want to tell you it. But I'll say it very quietly because I don't want AZ over here. Come closer. All right. I'm gonna kidnap Scott Morrison and replace him with my dad. <laughs> Good idea, right? Like, what could possibly go wrong? Think about it. I'll become chief of staff to the PM. Uh, we'll change all the, the, the laws, right? We'll go 100% um, renewable energy. Uh, we'll uh, raise new start. We'll start drug testing politicians. <laughs> and then my dad will be replaced by Peter Dutton. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! Did not think that one through. All right, I'm gonna go to the drawing board, and uh, in the meantime, I will bring on your first act of the evening. Are you ready for your first act? Yeah. That is good to hear. Uh, all the acts you see tonight are hilarious comedians. That's why, that's why they're here, to perform for you. Um, I hope you all wel welcome them all to the stage and have a great time. Uh, please start putting your hands together, and welcome to the stage, your very first act, Alistair Baldwin! Yeah. We've uh, been watching a bit of the show Queer Eye recently. A lot of people watch that show. Yeah, yeah. It's a good show. I like it a lot. Uh, I'd like to see other versions of the show. It's a versatile format. Uh, you know, versions that like reflect my reality. Um, uh, for example, uh, like Queer Eye, except it's five experienced campaigners and organizers teaching young and experienced activists how, how to like not burn out before they're thirty. Uh, call it. Uh, Experienced eye for the young social justice Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Okay, cool. Uh, I've got another one. Uh, Queer Eye, except it's Karl Marx, uh, Nelson Mandela, and the suffragettes as ghosts, um, teaching uh, our politicians how to, like, govern. <laughs> uh, call it Socialist Eye for the Capitalist Overlord. <laughs> That one's good, but it would have a very high production value because, you know, the ghosts of Karl Marx and Nelson Mandela and the suffragettes, they would probably have quite big contract fees. <laughs> um, go on more. Uh, Queer Eye, except it's Captain Planet and the Planeteers cleaning up the fossil fuel industry. <laughs> uh, 
I call it anti-pollution line for the Exxon, uh, anti-pollution eye for the Exxon line. There we go. <laughs> um, all right, cool. Well, I'm gonna, um, sounds like you like that, so I'm gonna go make it happen. Um, I'm gonna uh, leave you in the very capable hands of your next act. They are an absolute delight, you're gonna love them. Hannah Arbuthnot! All right, we are now down to uh, your final act for the evening. Oh. <laughs> but the good news is they're very funny. Yay! Yay! Oh, thank you for playing. Uh, <laughs> that was good. Um, all right, well, this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, here for one night only. Uh, please put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Vidya Rajan! We're gonna clean that up. Well, that is us, an in-community comedy show for the Melbourne Fringe Festival. Yeah. Thank you all so much for coming. Thanks for being a part of this. We've we've managed to raise uh, well over four thousand dollars for the uh, Day family, as they were suggesting. Yeah. You, if you liked what you saw tonight, you can like us on Facebook at Inconvenient Comedy. And hopefully we'll see you again in another show in the future. Thanks so much for coming. Yeah. we got to get out of here. We'll have a ticket to the bar. We'll see you later.